Hi everyone, it's Ryan. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to decorate some simple little Valentine's cookies along with one extra little design that I'm throwing in. All right, so for this first one, I want to show you the outline and fill method. And first off, I wanted to show when using these tipless piping bags, how to cut the end off. So make sure that your seam is up. I'll try to make sure this focuses. And then just cut the tip off. Start out small, and then you can cut more if you need to, to get the amount off that you want. And off to the side here, I have a bowl with a damp paper towel. I'm just gonna put it in there to where the tip is touching the paper towel so that it does not harden. And whenever I'm holding my piping bag, I like to take this, wrap it around in there so that I have more control over the amount that I'm squeezing out. So I am just going to do, make sure I'm not moving it and keeping you in the frame. I'm just going to do an outline. Simply as stated, that is what this method is. You just do an outline all the way around. If it's not perfect, do not worry about it. Go in with your scribe and you can take off any of the edges. And I like to have a rag next to where I'm working just to wipe the excess on. So then I am going to go in with the 10 second icing or whatever thinned out icing you are using and literally just going to, I like to start around the outside and just fill the cookie. And you can go ahead and do, if you're doing a lot of cookies, go ahead and do the outline on all of your cookies and then come back in later on and fill them. It's much easier to do them like that than to do one by one outline and fill. So right here at the bottom, I'm gonna turn it so you can see what I'm talking about. You can see that weird point there. So I'm just going to take my little scribe and just pick that off and wipe it. So it can be very forgiving. This one, as you can maybe see because it's white, there are no bubbles, shockingly. So I don't really need to pop any. If there was, you would just do like this most motion over top of the bubbles. So for this white one, I'm going to show you a wet on wet technique. So I'm going to get one of my pink colors. I'm gonna cut the tip off of it. And I'm going to make some lines across. And then we're going to use the scribe to make a design. So I'm just going to do some diagonal lines across the cookie. Very gentle pressure. Don't worry that at the ends it looks like there's a glob because we're going to take care of that. So while your icing is still wet, go ahead and do this. And as you can see, it just kind of sinks in. So what I'm going to do is go back through and just drag the scribe through it. And you can wipe it off on your rag and then go back the other way. And we are just making a pretty little design here in the cookie. Just be careful that you don't get, like right there you can see I dug a little bit away. Just use your scribe to fill that back in. And just keep going back and forth. It's a simple design, but it is cute. I'm gonna show you how to make these into little hearts as well. So there we go. First simple little Valentine's cookie. 
All right, this is one of our smaller little heart cookies. So what I'm gonna do for this one is use one of the thicker icings, the 20 or 30 second icings, and just do an outline and immediately fill it. So one piping bag is all that I'm using for this one. And I do like to steady my other hand with this one. So you're just gonna go immediately back in and fill. And this bag, I actually need to cut a little bit more off. It's just a small amount that I had cut off the first time. So I'm gonna go back in and just fill the whole cookie. And you can go in here and do just little zigzags so that then you can go back and get a really fully iced cookie. So your icing stands up nice and tall on top. Go in and then you can use your little tool to flatten out. Just go back and forth, zhuzh the icing a little bit to get it to flatten out. And once again, somehow there are no bubbles. You can probably see over here that I didn't do a good job of getting it nice and round. So I'm going to just use my tool to help me out there. So this one, I'm just going to leave like that. It's just going to be a little pink heart. Okay, once again, I'm just going to do an outline and immediately fill on this one. I'm gonna do this one red. I'm just going to show for your outline, if you want it to have more of a dramatic top, just bring it all the way in because you're gonna fill that spot anyway. And I'm gonna go in the center and then go back over and fill it in. Again, this is a super basic shape, but I wanted to do my first cookie video pretty basic. You can add lots of different textures and colors. You could add flowers, you can add writing, you can add whatever you want, but if you start out simple and just learn the techniques you can build on that and do whatever you want. So on this one, I'm going to grab my white bag and I'm going to do some little polka dots to start with. It doesn't have to be any certain design or pattern. Just gonna do some polka dots, another wet on wet. And then go back in with your little tool and just drag it through and make little hearts. Super simple, but cute. and I am wiping it on a rag off to the side so that I don't get too much red drug through the white. And you could even go back in with your pink and add some more if you wanted to. Whatever you want to do on these, it's totally up to you. I forgot to wipe that one off, so we're gonna drag that back. And fun little fact, it's actually 10 years ago today, not today, 10 years ago this Valentine's Day that I had opened my little shop. It does not exist anymore, but that was fun. I'm gonna do another one of these larger ones 
in the pink color and let it dry and then we can add some other decorations on top of it later. I'm oh, sorry, forgot to talk while I'm doing this. Forget that I'm recording sometimes. Just going over and filling in and then we can go back through with the tool to smooth out the icing as needed. You can even just give the, the whole cookie a little shake to help smooth everything out. I want it to come to more of a point. So there we go. I'm gonna set this one off to the side and let it dry so we can add either some writing or maybe some little hearts on top. Now let's say you wanted to do one that was striped, all the different colors. So I'm just going to make a line, go up, make the rest of your heart or your arch up there. Go ahead and fill this space. So then I'm gonna grab a different color and I'm going to do another line, connect, connect there, and then fill. A tiny little bubble up there that I need to pop. There is a tiny little bubble. Okay, then I'm gonna get another color. And then I'm gonna do another line. Connect them. And you can see that they're just kind of blending together. everything is the same consistency. And let's go and end it back with red. And if my lines look a little off, it's because I'm off to the side here, so it's a little hard to get them all straight. Okay. And now I'm just going to let these dry, or let this one dry, and then I can come back in later and add some more details and straighten out these lines a little bit. So for these little hearts, I'm actually just going to um, keep doing them just plain and filling them because I'm gonna do little goodie bags for likely our neighbors. So if any of our neighbors are watching this, hey, but also you might have some little goodie bags coming for Valentine's Day. So I'm just doing the outlines and then I'm gonna come right back in and fill them. That one got a little off. I'm just gonna go right back in and fill them. Because these would be really cute for school or whatever you wanted to do for Valentine's Day. Just little two bite little treats. At least two bites for me. Again, you can go in with your tool. You can see a few little air bubbles on that one that I need to go back in and pop. 
but the icing just gets so smooth and pretty with these. And you can really manipulate the icing to go in whatever shape. So you can see right here on this one, we've got a large air bubble. So I'm just gonna go in with the tool, drag it a little bit, it pops. Just give the icing a little zhuzh to smooth it back out. Just gonna do some of these plain white as well. And the white was very thin, so I do need to do the outline and fill method on these. And like I said, you could do a bunch of these and leave them sit. Oh, that line is rough. It helps if you can hold your bag up off the cookie a little bit. It helps the lines be a little more natural than jagged. That one was not the greatest. But then I'm going to go back in and do this so that my other icing, because it is thinner, it's not going to have the volume that my other ones did. So I'm going to fill it with this and then go back over it with the fill icing. I'm just going to go right back over. and fill these. All right, so any of the areas that you have just a little bit of icing that needs fixed, go back over. They don't have to be perfect, but they are so simple. All right, so this one has dried, so I'm going to go back over top of it with the regular icing and just make these lines a little more crisp. So I'm just gonna basically do outlines with it. I go around this one. I'm just going back in with my regular colors that I have. This icing could be thicker to do this, but I'm just using what I have. Like I said, these don't have to be perfect. If you are going for perfect, then yes, you should use a thicker icing. But I am just going to show you guys what you can do if you just want to do some of these at home. trying to hide right there where the red went a little wild. So there we go. Cute. All right, so on this one that's very plain, I'm gonna go ahead and just write love across it because it's Valentine's Day, so why not? So 
I'm just gonna make sure that the tip is clean and just go in and write love across it. And then I'm gonna go in and add just a few little hearts here and there. And if you have not watched my little cake in a cup video, I showed there making these little hearts, but you can see just how easy it is to go in and add just some little flourishes here and there. And if you get where it looks like your icing is sticking to the end, just go ahead and pinch it and squeeze it off on your finger. That way, the tip of the bag is clean and you don't have to worry about that. There we go. Let's do one more of these with the lines and dragging the little tool through it. This time with red and white, because I think that'll be cute. Okay, did the outline. I'm gonna go back and fill with the thinner white. One thing you wanna make sure if you do use the thinner icing, like the 10 second icing or whatever, um, is that you don't overfill because you do not want the filling icing to go out over the edge of your outline. So now I'm just going to go back through with red. And this is super simple. It doesn't have to be perfect, that's why I love it. And my lines are obviously not straight. Why would they be? I'm just gonna drag the tool through it. This time let's not pick it up, let's go just back and forth. Almost looks like a peppermint. Now I want to get this little globby down here to go join the party on all of these. So I'm just going to go Kind of manipulate that part a little bit just so it looks a little more cohesive. There we go. All right, this one isn't really in keeping with the theme of Valentine's Day, but you could always add, make some brown icing and make it a chocolate covered strawberry. But our friend is having her child's first birthday party this weekend and so I said I would do some strawberry cookies. So I'm going to decorate this one like a strawberry using the red and I mixed up some green earlier as well. So I'm just doing like I did on all the other ones, a little outline. And I'm going to come back in and fill. Just using the same technique. I know all of these were very simple cookies. Like I said, I just wanted this to be something simple you could do at home. And then you 
could take, so I'm gonna be doing leaves up here, obviously. I'm gonna take my little scribe tool and actually make some lines that I want to do for my leaves. You probably can't even hardly see that, but just digging into the cookie a little bit, making my lines just so that I have a little bit to trace whenever I go in with my green. So for these leaves, if you wanted to, you could use an actual leaf tip and just do some leaves up the side. But I'm just gonna do smooth like the rest of this and just go up, make a little point, come down. And I'm gonna fill this in. I should have waited until the red was a little more dry. So I'm going to pause, waiting for the red to dry a little bit, and then I'm gonna do the rest. While I'm waiting for the green, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with some little dots of white. I'm gonna turn it a little more so it's facing me and make the little strawberry seeds. So I'm just doing some little tiny dots and I am going to do sort of a pattern on this one. That's okay. Drug a little bit there, but it'll be okay. Just basically letting the bag do its own thing here and just let out as much as it's going to. And then I'm gonna go and add a few more up the sides. Actually, I'm gonna go in and add a few more just all over because strawberries have seeds everywhere. Go up here a little higher and then we're just gonna use a little tool. It's one right there. And just drag it down to a point, just a little bit. That's it. Do that everywhere. Now you don't have to do this while the red is still wet. You could wait until it has hardened all the way and go back over it. But because I'm doing this on a video and trying not to be here all day, I am impatient. So we are just gonna do it now and it is just fine. These are gonna be so cute for her little birthday party. Okay. All right, I'm gonna try to add another leaf to this. And the reason that I am waiting in between well, I didn't want that to happen. What happened right there, I did not want that to happen. But it did, so we're just gonna live with it. But I wanted it to look a little bit layered with these leaves. So I'm gonna give this one a little more of a hump there. And then I'm gonna wait for it to dry and then we can do the middle leaf, or you could put a stem there, whatever you want. All right, I'm gonna add my last leaf on the top here. So I'm just gonna go in. And I actually think what I should have done is add this one in first. So we're gonna round it out so that he's on top of the other ones. 
or you could make that just a stem, but I went with a leaf. Super simple and cute. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you make some decorative Valentine's cookies of your own. Let me know in the comments if you have any recipes that you would like me to try or some other decorated cookie designs that you wanna see.